to it. For both of us. How about I just look? So. I don't think it's faded when we got the camera. <laughs> I had every intention of not posting this video. For months, I felt guilty about how overwhelmed and scared I was in that moment. And while those emotions were some of the most authentic and raw I have ever shared on social media, so is the fact that I feel so grateful to be able to have this baby and just have the family that I have always dreamed and prayed of. And there is no one I would rather be doing this than with Devin. He truly is my rock and the love of my life. I think I'm gonna wear this today. These are like cargo pants that are super cute from Girlfriend. And then this like free people dupe long sleeve. I just got it off of Amazon and I got it yesterday. So I'm really excited. Hopefully it's, so far the quality like feels good, but I wanna make sure it's still a little bit oversized and like the free people vibe. hair tie trick. He's just put it through here while I bloat. Okay, I've got this turn bracelet and it has an E and a G. Should have put a D on there for Devin, but. And I'm all ready for the day. I don't know what shoes, but we'll figure that out later. So you guys know that we're pregnant, but not everybody knows yet. Our family does not know. And we've waited so long just because there's just been a lot going on in our families too anyways. And we found out later, we've been busy. There's just like a lot, pretty much. I don't know if I've mentioned it or not, but three of us sister-in-laws on Devin's side of the family were pregnant at the same time. We had another little niece join us at the beginning of January. And then we had one more join us on February 1st. So it's been a whirlwind, but they are so cute. I'm gonna show a picture. I wasn't at Sunday dinner because I wasn't feeling good. I've missed a lot lately, so I don't know if they're on to me, but it's a picture. I'm gonna blur out their faces, but you can see them, she's so cute. They're all here. And now I feel like we do need to tell our family, even Grace. Literally, we have not told Grace because we know as soon as we tell her, like everybody's gonna know. So, um, yeah, we're planning on telling Grace this week, planning on telling both of our families this week. So it's kind of crazy. Also, Valentine's Day is when we're announcing, and I'm just getting Valentine's stuff for the girls, and it's just crazy. I wanted to also, like, say that I am so happy we're having this baby. I know my reaction, it was very shocking to me, and I just kept repeating to Devin how, like, scared I was with like time to process it I am seriously so happy and I debated even sharing that type of reaction just because you don't typically see that on social media at all but I didn't want to like fake it and redo it and I don't know it was just like how I felt in the moment was just a little bit overwhelmed and scared of feeling like I still had a newborn and how I'm going to split all of my time and attention 
with Emma being so young, still needing a lot of attention and make time, uh, like intentional time spending with Grace, like both Devin and I. And so I think it was just a little bit overwhelming of like how this is all gonna work. But I think babies are just the biggest blessing ever. And all I ever want to be is a mom. And that's always gonna be first priority. Also just the fact that like, I think it has been a little bit hard to be pregnant and to be a mom to a relatively newborn just because I am so exhausted when I'm pregnant. Luckily, I'm not as sick this time around, but I definitely feel the exhaustion um, and just hormones kind of going crazy. So why I haven't posted as much as you probably have noticed in the past couple months that I have not posted as much because I have been really exhausted and I'm trying to listen to my body and to also just be a mom first and foremost. And that's been really important for me. And as time has gone and Devin and I have had like so many conversations and we just know this is what's meant to be. And we're so excited. Um, we've always, we always knew we wanted at least three. So it's not like, oh, this is happening. And we we're completely unprepared for it. We always knew we wanted three kids, but it's just happening a little bit sooner than we thought. So, but it's all good. I'm so excited. I know all of them are gonna be super close. So I've been brainstorming of like ways to tell Grace. Last year, when we got pregnant with Emma, we told her in like a scavenger hunt way, had a little baby doll at the end and told her. So I kind of, I don't know if I wanna do something similar or something completely different. Um, and I wish Emma was a little bit older to understand. She's not gonna get it at all. But I think Grace is already on to us a little bit because Devin jokes around so much and she's like smart. She's catching on to his little jokes of like random stuff. I don't know what he said yesterday, but she was like, is mom pregnant? I was like, oh my goodness. Mm -hmm.